Hi everyone, my name is Marie-Louise Bluffield and I'm the Senior Product Manager for Operative Care and Airway Management. Um, I am here today to provide the Viad session for the Viair Air Life NIV mask. So we're going to make this interactive. I'm going to start off with a little bit of um, NIV treatment and NIV, NIV delivery. Talk about the product, its features and benefits and then I'm going to choose some people to be the patient and some people to be the clinician and we'll have a hands-on demonstration. Does that sound okay? Excellent, okay. So, before I go into it, does anybody know what NIV stands for? Go. Catch. Excellent. Non-invasive ventilation. I told you it was going to be interactive. Um, Non-invasive ventilation. So what does that actually mean? Okay, I won't, I won't ask that question, I'll explain it. For you so it's really in the name non-invasive if we think about a patient having invasive therapy invasive would mean a tube down their throat they'd be sedated they would have a tube down their throat an endotracheal tube that tube would go into the mouth through the vocal cords down the trachea to the windpipe and that tube would then be would be connected to a circuit like so and that circuit would be connected to a ventilator. So non-invasive therapy is the opposite. It is a mask attached to the circuit, attached to the ventilator, okay? So that mask is providing breathing support for that patient. And those types of patients that would be, we'd be using this on would be patients with respiratory insufficiencies or respiratory distress or respiratory failure. Those types of patients have um, a type 2 respiratory disease like COPD or pneumonia. So COPD stands for chronic, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And what I mean by that is a patient's airway becomes narrow with this disease. When a patient's airway becomes narrow, it's very, very difficult for the patient to breathe in oxygen and to expire CO2 gases out, okay? So because the airway is narrow and it's difficult for them to do that, they get tired very easily and they get very breathless um, and it's very, very tiring for them to do that simple exercise that we're doing normally now. So NIV therapy with an NIV mask attached to a ventilator circuit, attached to a ventilator, will do that work of breathing for those patients, okay? So it's breathing support. Does that make sense to people? Fantastic, okay. Um, so NIV masks can come in a different variety. They can come like this as a, as a face mask that covers the nose and the mouth. They can come in a nasal mask that just covers the nose only. It can come in a full face mask which would cover the forehead all the way down to the chin. And the last way of delivering NIV therapy is through a, almost like a helmet. We call them hoods. Um, these, they're almost like space helmets. They're like a bag that goes over the patient's face. It's inflated and it delivers air that way. Okay, so there's different methods of delivering NIV therapy. So Viair has two types. We have a face mask and we have the nasal. But the one I want to talk to you today are the face mask ones. And these are on my mannequins here. Okay, so NIV face masks. The NIV face mask has many features and benefits. And it's going to be very difficult for me to do it here. I'm going to come out to you guys to show you what these benefits are. Now remember these, these might be on the quiz, okay? <laughs> so it has a four point headgear. One, two, three, four, okay? Nice and easy, four point headgear. What is that basically doing? It's distributing the pressure of, of when it's tightened to the patient's face evenly over the patient's face, okay? Distributing the pressure. It has a external frame, which is this hard plastic area here, okay? an external frame and underneath the external frame there's a soft silicone inner mask. You see that? Okay. Would you like to touch it nice and soft? Because that's the bit that is <clears throat> attaching to the patient's face. So it's made out of silicone. Okay. So external frame, internal inner, inner mask, four point headgear. We also have these little fins here. Can you see what these do? It moves the face mask back and forward, okay? So what that's doing is it's conforming to the patient's face and it's providing a really good seal. It's also elimin eliminating leak because we don't want any leak. If there's any leak in the mask, it's not delivering NIV therapy, okay? 
What else have we got? We have got a flexible dual swivel elbow. So we've got a little elbow that will move from side to side. And if you really want to, you can turn it all the way around 360 degrees, but from side to side. It also, if you can see this, it flexes from side to side. Can anybody tell me, have a little think about that. So that would hook up to a breathing circuit, circuits attached to my ventilator. What would be the benefit of this action if that's strapped really tightly to the patient's face? It's distributing that pressure, isn't it? What we talk about is the circuit attached to here will pull on, pull on, pull. If the patient was to turn to its side or the patient was to say fall asleep like this, the, the circuit's going to pull it. If the circuit pulls it and there's no flexibility there, you're going to get a very, very bad pressure sore, a very, very bad pressure ulcer. Um, and these pressure sores, you know, they cost the NHS quite a lot to treat. Anything between £1,000 to £15,000, depending on the grade of the pressure ulcer. And they grade them from one to four, okay? And 4% of the NHS expenditure is, is spent treating pressure sores and pressure ulcers, okay? So a customer's desire to have a really well-fitting mask and a customer's desire to have the right mask on the right patient is really, really important to them, okay? What else do we have? We have another little feature here, and I will have to show you this. Do you see this little valve? I'm closing it with my yeah. finger and it's open there. Closing it and open it. Does anyone ha want to have a guess at what this valve, I'll give you a clue, it's a safety valve. So if we have a circuit attached here and it's closed, air is going in, what would happen if the circuit was to say disconnect? Let's have a think about it. Circuit disconnects, there's no flow going into the mask, is there? Okay, or something was to happen to the ventilator settings and the flow was to go down. That mass, that valve is opening up, sorry, it's, it's opening up that way. It's allowing room air to be entrained in and it's allowing that patient to, re to breathe the room air. Okay, if that didn't happen, the patient would suffocate. <laughs> And you just nailed it on the head. It's called an AAV, an anti-asphyxiation valve. So we called it different names there. We said safety valve, we said one-way valve, but the correct terminology is AAV. Okay. AAV, anti-asphyxiation valve. For those that don't know what asphyxiation is, it's where one is deprived of oxygen. It's where they're suffocated, which you use that term there. It's, and that can lead to unconsciousness or could lead to death. Okay, because your patient would be there with no flow and rebreathing their own CO2. And after three minutes, a patient rebreathing their own CO2, it could become quite fatal. So a very, very important safety feature. Okay. Another feature here is, again, I'm going to have to show you because you're not going to be able to see it. Do you see these holes here? Okay. These little holes here, we call them different things. We call them vented. So this is a vented mask. And we do masks that are non-vented that wouldn't have these holes. Um, these little holes here allow for CO2 gases to be to come out of the mask. So like I said, the patient's not rebreathing their own CO2. So this is a vented mask with an AAV, the anti-asphyxiation valve. Okay. So these holes here would be used on a circuit, a single limb circuit with no valve. Okay. We have another little mask here that has, doesn't have those holes. So we would use this on a single limb circuit that has a vent. Because what we don't want to do is have a circuit, a circuit with a vent and a mask with a vent. We, do, we, we have two vents, it'll be one or the other, okay? And lastly, our third NAV mask that we supply is this one with the dark blue elbow, okay? It doesn't have an anti-asphyxiation valve and it doesn't have those holes. Now this is for use with critical care ventilators such as the Avia that we sell or the Bella Vista, which is our new vent over here, okay, because all of the anti-asphyxiation valves and the exhalation ports are all built into the ventilator and if anything was to happen it would alarm and it would tell the clinician that there's something wrong, okay. So three different types of NIV masks uh, for different setup, um, for a dual limb like this one or single limb circuits with or without exhalation port, okay. That's the technical bit, that's as difficult as it's going to get, okay. Before I move on to a demonstration, do you have any questions? No? Easy, yeah? <laughs> okay, right. I'm gonna pick on people. Can I choose you to be the patient? Come on up here. Lovely lady. You have a seat there. 
Martin, I give a hard time already, so I'll, I'll let him <laughs> off with it. Would you like to come up and be the doctor? Yes, doctor. Okay, so, so you stay there, and I'll stay here, and I'll talk you through it, okay? So this is our patient, okay? She has a very bad respiratory failure. You can see it in her face. <laughs> She's struggling to breathe. Those chest walls going in and out, it's tearing her out, okay? So we need to get this on her quick. Okay, so what type of mask do we put on her? It's a good question, but first, what size of mask would be the first thing that we'd need to do? And this is our sizing guide. So this will tell me if a small, medium, large needs to be used in this patient. So I'm going to give this to you, and what I want you to do is, these are our nasal ones, which we're not talking about today. We're talking about our masks. I'd like you to put this over her nose, and yep, exactly that. So keep it just there a moment. So she's put a small on her, and actually a small is perfect for her. And the reason why I say that is because this bit here doesn't come below her bottom lip, it comes in between her lip and her chin, which means this patient is a small, okay? Fantastic, thank you very much. We do lots of these, and, what, and they're disposable. So once that's used, that goes straight in the bin, okay? So cross, cross contamination. Um, the next thing is we get our mask, and we have our mask over here ready for you to place on. Remember, this is, the two, this is the NIV mask with the dark blue elbow. We've got the Bella Vista ventilator provided by Viair Medical. It uses only a two-tube circuit, okay? So our two-tube circuit only works with our dark blue NIV um, mask with the dark blue elbow, okay? So in order to put on, if I get you to hold it, I'll talk you through it. What I would like you to do is unclip the bottom two buckles, okay? So we see these bits here. So it's almost like a push out action to release. Yeah, you've got it, push it out. Got to be a bit firm, with that's it, yes. And the other one, fantastic. This is great, she's doing all the work. <laughs> right, next thing, you want to place it over the patient's head, okay? And you know, this bit I will help you with, okay? So we're going to place it over the patient's head. Now I see the top, the top straps, let's loosen them a little bit. There we go. And maybe just move the hair out of, out of her way. There we go. I've just put it behind the ears. So let's secure these top two straps again. So we don't want to do it too tight because we don't want those pressure sores or pressure ulcers. But we don't want it too loose because we don't want to leak. So a nice snug fit would be, would be ideal. So I'm just going to clip this on my side. You clip it on your side. Fantastic. The next thing to do would be to tighten these bottom straps, okay? So I'll do my side. We're just going to un, un velcro. You un velcro your side, I know it's hard to see. Tighten it and restick it again, okay? So once we've done that, the next thing would be, would be to squeeze these fins here. So if you can do that action, squeeze that and it'll push the mask into the patient's face. So she, she pushed it out, push it in, and then let go. But not too tight, just a nice snug fit. <laughs> I could see her flinching. And remember, we've got no flow going on here. Okay. So once we've done that, we would then turn our ventilator on, okay? Now the Bella Vista Viad is for another day, okay? But what I would do, I would turn it on. I would set my PEEP, my positive end expiratory pressure, the pressure we don't want it to fall below, and I would set my inspiratory pressure, which is the push that we want to give this patient when they're, when they're breathing in, to do that work of breathing for them, because remember, they've got that respiratory failure. And the last thing I would set would be my FiO2, which is my fraction-inspired oxygen, and that's the percent of oxygen I want to deliver to this patient. Now, that's Bella Vista in simple terms. It's a lot more complex than that, but those are the, those are the settings. After that, Patient's there for a few hours, patient go to sleep. Patient wants to have a drink of water. What would we, what would we do? Unclip from this part here, which is, which is a quick, easy release, rather than doing the Velcro way. So it's like a push out action. There we go. And we could lift that off. We could do the other side if we wanted to. And I think we will because she's, it's getting steamy there, isn't it? <laughs> We give the patient a drink of water. So tell me, you were the patient. How did that feel, and did you think it was uh, comfortable? Yeah, it was, it was comfortable. It was comfortable? It was harder to breathe, obviously, because I didn't have the flow. Yeah, many flow. 
No, and it didn't have the anti-asphyxiation valve. It wasn't in training any room mm -hmm. air. Mm -hmm. Now we can see she has a little red mark here, doesn't she? Don't worry, don't panic. <laughs> but she does, doesn't she? And we had it on for what minutes? Now these patients with respiratory failure could have it on for six hours. They could have it on when they're sleeping. And remember, we talked about the patient lying on their side and think of all the pressure that could have if you didn't have that flexible with the dual swivel elbow. So thank you very much for being our patient. Something I mentioned but I didn't stick on, this falls under a particular brand in the Viare Medical range. Does anybody know what brand it stands under? If you think we've got Jaeger, we've got Bird, we've got Vital Signs, this NIV falls under which brand in Viare Medical? I mentioned it probably just once at the very, very start. But not Bella Vista. Have another go. It begins with an A. Very good. Listen, I can't do too many more because that would be the whole quiz, but I'm expecting top marks from everybody. But thank you so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you.